Madam Chair, dear Emma, thank you so much for this invitation. I'm uh, really proud because uh, I uh, I know I am the, 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 the fourth, the fifth uh, prime, prime minister uh, during the presidency who discussed with, uh, with you after uh, my friends uh, Samaras and uh, other colleagues. Uh, I think this is a great tradition now. and. Uh, I believe are very important. So just to, to, to give some point of discussion, and then I imagine to, to uh, exchange uh, some point of views uh, with uh, you and uh, uh, with your point of view. First of all, obviously, uh, welcome to Italy. We are uh, really, really happy for your presence here, and uh, you are welcome uh, in our country. I think, really, for uh, Italy, this is a moment very particular because uh, we have two goals. The first goal is change the approach of Europe, uh, not as goal for our government, but for an uh, absolutely priority for all, our, all the world and all the, the, the 28 countries. But Italy will be not believable if uh, forced she, Italy decided don't change uh, herself. So our problem is exactly that. We are sure about the necessity to change Europe, but first we must change Italy. Because after a lot of years lost, this is the only words I can use, uh, we must absolutely give the message of radical change in our country. So, I'm sorry if I, uh, let me start from the, 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 the situation of my country, of our country, not because uh, I give the priority to my country, but because I think this is the only way to be believable in the requests for Europe. The change in Italy is as a password to enter in the, in the, in the, uh, the PID, PIN code uh, in the mobile. Without this approach, it's impossible to, to discuss about the future of Europe. Also, and uh, this is very important, around the world, uh, the priority of change also in Europe uh, is not yet a priority of uh, a request of Italy now. It's a request of G20 summit. Because if you follow the discussion in Brisbane last week, you verify very clearly the absolutely request of every country of participants of G20 summit to change direction from only austerity to a politics in direction of growth. So first, Italy. We must give a message of radical change in seven points. F for me, the more important uh, is the education. Not labor market, not fiscal system, not justice, not electoral, electoral law, not constitution. This is my personal point of view. I think I'm minority in this. Uh, uh, in this, uh, in this uh, very important uh, council, but I think it's minority also in my government if I said this. <laughs> but fortunately, I'm the prime minister, so <laughs> <laughs> this is. Uh, I think the education is the most important problem uh, for a lot of reasons. The quality of education in Italy is very high. It's not a problem. If I verify the, the, the quality of um, the engineering uh, on the, 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 the students uh, are good, not negative. But the organization of this system is not at the level of our dream. And for this reason, this is the first. I, uh, education, fiscal system, our goal is uh, make a fiscal system easier. Also because in Italy, make a fiscal system more difficult, it's impossible. <laughs> so it's not very dramatic, make easier the, the, the fiscal system, in which it will be obviously the, 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 my, my friend Giorgio, uh, we must reduce the taxation and we began <coughs> in this direction. But first, it's important to give a message clear 
about uh, the legislation and fiscal system, the possibility to say yes, yes, not, not, and avoid the lack of uh, uh, cre clear message in this, in this field. Third, the fight against the, 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 the public administration uh, disruption, because we have uh, a lot uh, of uh, things to change in this, in this field. For the justice, because uh, uh, I think the, re the, the through spread in this moment uh, between Italy and the other more important country is exactly the spread of uh, civil justice. Uh, if you think, and I think this is a very a problem, uh, more or less for the first step of the civil process in the uh, uh, civil, uh, civil court, we have in France, UK, Germany, and USA more or less, less than one, uh, one year to, to, to have the first uh, uh, judgment, more or less. In Italy, nine, 943 days, three years. It's unbelievable. And for this reason, we began. We began with the innovation of ICT, the telematic process started. But obviously, the real challenge in this moment is follow the implementation. Because the reforms are clear, but the problem is every day, day by day, follow the implementation of those reforms. And last but not the least, obviously, the change of the labor market system will uh, be um, uh, voted for the last time in, I think, 9 December, and uh, will be adopted with the decree of implementation uh, in January. So from January, we start also because we change uh, the fiscal uh, regime uh, of uh, labor market. Uh, we give this uh, message very important of a reduction of, of taxation in the labor, uh, in the labor fields uh, in Italy. And so the idea is uh, provoke your colleagues uh, in Italy and your business in Italy to give uh, freedom against the traditional system in Italy. We cut the uh, Article 18, which is uh, the, 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 the symbol of a tradition in uh, our country. We give the, the, the possibility to reduce the taxation uh, in this, uh, if the people decide to invest in uh, new jobs uh, and also uh, a message uh, of uh, investment uh, for the future. Five reforms very important uh, in the administration and uh, two reforms, electoral law and uh, constitutional uh, reform. If you think we have uh, 139 articles in our constitution, we changed in the first uh, lecture uh, uh, approved by the Senate and now in discussion uh, in the Chamber of Deputies, uh, we changed 42 articles on 139. It's a real, 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 very important change. I use the expression revolution because uh, I think in the mind of Italian politics uh, is absolutely a revolution. Also because uh, this is a change in the role between uh, central power and the local uh, power. If you think about the role of regions in Italy are not good as uh, we uh, think in the past. And so the new, system uh, could be a good, a good uh, opportunity. I can speak also about uh, electoral law, but uh, this could be a provocation. Uh, um, in, other, in other words, uh, when I explain uh, this, uh, our project, uh, I use uh, uh, this expression. For the first time in Italy, the winner will be clear. The winner is the man who, or the woman who win. <laughs> and the people look at me, you are crazy. It's normal in the elections. The winner is the man or the woman who wins. Really is not in Italy because in the past, every, every time in the past was very difficult to understand in Italy who was the winner. <laughs> I remember a joke and uh, uh, the, the, the last election, 2013, the last polit polit political election, and I'm not, I, I, I wasn't candidate. 
I was mayor, so I arrived after this election. A very complicated system, but I remember the election, the politics election was in 2013, in February, more or less in the same time of the election of a new pope. <laughs> so, the Catholic Church changed the pope in two weeks, very quickly, very clearly. A man was designed, was chosen, clearly. With the Italian electoral system, uh, if the Italian electoral system was transposed in Vatican, uh, we have four popes. Uh, who they, who, I am the winner. No, I am the winner. <laughs> but if you, if you permit me a provocation, uh, I think a lot of uh, European system in this moment are problem with the election. Just the time to, to, to explain few words. Our model, our new model, approved by chamber and now in discussion with the Senate exactly in those days, are very interesting because uh, with the second round uh, and the, I don't enter obviously in the details, but with the, the decision uh, clear of winner, this permit to winner to have uh, for five years a good majority to realize the, pro the uh, project. In this moment, if I verify your countries, the majority are without a clear choice. Because uh, uh, in Germany, in which uh, uh, Councillor Merkel obtained the most important result from the time of Adenauer as number of votes, she's not able to have a majority for the system of the, the, the single uh, details in Germany. If I think about UK, for the first time after a lot of years, uh, the Prime Minister Cameron was uh, forced to have a coalition with Nick Clegg and uh, with the role of the fourth party, maybe third, I don't know, you keep in the next election of 2015, I don't know if the numbers for the system, for the uh, uh, um, system of UK in Spain, obviously now uh, Rajoy have a good majority, but if Podemos or Socialist Party, obviously this is not uh, um, my opinion, is simply the, 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 the picture of the situation, with this system we are not sure about the majority clear. So it's really important for Italy to have a, a clear, clear, clear majority, also because uh, one problem is if you, in Germany and the UK, uh, make an agreement and a deal uh, between parties, uh, all is clear for the next uh, four years, uh, three years, five years, depends. In Italy, it's not very clear, so I prefer to uh, uh, avoid the possibility. I prefer avoid the coalition in Italy. The first party win, okay. I can lose the, the election, but with a clear message. Obviously, those several reforms together are the symbol of Italy must change. But, and this is the point, the crucial point, I think Europe must change. Europe is in a moment very problematic. I think that the stagnation is in every part of our economy. Uh, I believe a very uh, confused situation in the, 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 the around the world because uh, um, we don't know, obviously, what, what could happen in Japan, uh, in uh, other countries. I, I know only that in the discussion about the future of uh, global, uh, global world, everybody forced us to give a message in direction of growth. I'm confident about the, 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 the priorities of new commission. This is a very clear message. I'm here as a representative of a government, but I represent also a party with the major numbers of votes in the last election. My party received 11.2 million votes, the most important uh, around, uh, around uh, Europe. And I know the message I, I gave to my citizens. I gave a message pro-European Union, not against European Union. And the second part, the CDU of Council of Merkel, 10.6 million votes, gave the different, but the same message, pro-European Union. But the European Union must be 
in the hearts of the citizen and not only in the complicated and confused red tape of bureaucracy in Brussels. For this reason, the message in the digital market, in the innovation, in the high technology, in the education must be a message able to unify exactly as Erasmus was able to unify a generation of students. But for this, is absolutely important to avoid the discussion only about 0 0.1 in the budget. We respect the 3%. We are 2.6%. I'm not convinced that this is a good idea for Italian economy, but it's a message of credibility for my colleagues in Europe. I respect the limitation of Maastricht, but it's possible to affirm the word respect to Maastricht 1992 is changed. And we must discuss about a new paradigm of economy in which the investment in few fields could be the, 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 the strategy for the next Europe. This is the point of discussion for 2015. Italian presidency tried to discuss about that. We support Juncker only after the decision of Juncker to give a message of change in this, uh, in this uh, position and announce the, 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 the investment plan, we will see the investment plan. I think the priority is cut of a, a limitation of stability, the, the, the 300 uh, b mil billion euro. Uh, but the, point, the crucial point is that if, and I conclude with that uh, consideration, maybe everybody remember very well where, where, where is, uh, um, where was in the moment of uh, Berlin Wall's fell out uh, 25 years ago. I remember my mother. My mother was in the, uh, in her house with watching the TV and I remember, I remember my mother cried. It was a very emotional moment for me. I was uh, 13 years old. I remember this moment as a crucial moment because, because in that moment, Europe, Europe's ideas showed the very importance and the very high quality. After 25 years, we are sure about uh, Europe uh, is a place of ideals and not only a place of a technical and bureaucratic approach. So we must absolutely give a new hope, a new vision of the dream European. I think uh, Karl Dadenauer, uh, Alcide de Gasperi, or François Mitterrand, Helmut Kohl don't build Europe to become a place in which the discussion is the, in the details. Built Europe as a place in which the strategy for the future must be at the high level of our dreams. And for this reason, I'm ready to discuss with you about the single point and the, the, the single issues. And thank you so much for your presence here. Thank you, Matteo. So, Giorgio, you start with the first. Dear President, <laughs> dear, dear Matteo, I would like to thank you for having accepted our invitation uh, to join us today. For me, it's an honor to have you here in Confindustria. In your speech, uh, you spoke about the role of Italy in Europe. In this respect, as President of Confindustria, I would like to thank you for the efforts uh, you made so far to make Europe go beyond the dichotomy between uh, uh, questions who bring together the future of Europe. So it's not very easy to, 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 to be brief uh, as I, I, I must be. Um, what is the expression of Confindustria in France? Uh, Medef. 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 I, I remember a very speech of Manuel in the meeting of Medef last uh, last. Uh, last uh, Entreprise. J'aime l'entreprise. Oui, oui. J'ai lu tout l'interview et je pense que c'est très vraiment un. C'était un très bon speech. Absolument. 
Ouais, moi, je suis, tu tu n'es pas confident, vous n'avez peut-être pas confident, attention, hein, c'est... C'est pas bon. C est, c est, votre idée sur, sur, sur la relation entre la confidence et la, 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 les speeches et l'implémentation, la, 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 c'est pas bon. Uh, I think that. I think uh, we must absolutely uh, invest in implementation and execution. I have two answers to, to give you. First is in Italy. For us, the attention to implementation is not easy, but is crucial. And I can show you a lot of examples, uh, but for respect of your quality of life, I avoid. Uh, really, in this moment, uh, we have the problem in the implementation for the numbers of decreti attuativi. <laughs> decreti attuativi are the, 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 the sub-laws we must approve after the provision of law. Uh, we have a lot of problem uh, with the bureaucracy for the respect timeline. For example, I force everybody, and I risk sometimes because I'm not able to maintain every date every month. For uh, because this is the only way with the bureaucracy in Italy to uh, push up the, 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 the reforms. We have a lot of problem in the implementations uh, in uh, the, the, the um, institutional reforms, but this is normal. I began my first speech in the Senate. Uh, you must consider I'm under 40, so in Italy I'm not able to sit in the Senate. And uh, I bring the microphone and the first speech was that. I decided this is the last time in which a prime minister came here for the vote of confidence because we surpass your role. It's not very elegant, uh, respecting the, 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 the position and the personality of, uh, personality of the, the senators. But to give implementation is possible with a very strong, strong, strong determination. I think it's impossible to build a system uh, of control, uh, um, um, manage, uh, there are not a software for that. The only way is maintain the big determination in, the, in, the, in uh, these projects. I explain my position with this uh, statement. I can change Italy, but the alternative is change jobs. Because if I'm not able to change Italy, I will change job. So this maybe is an opportunity for Italy, but, uh, but this is the message. I link my personal experience exactly to this determine to this process of reform, and this is the only way for me, from my personal point of view, to maintain the implementation of reform. Obviously, I can show you in nine months a lot of things done, realized, concretely, but. It's normal in this process, uh, and also for the high expectations, uh, we need uh, the conclusion of process to show very clearly the strategy. is a little piece of puzzle. Uh, every day we push a piece of this puzzle. But to have the framework, I, I, I have clear the, the, the framework, but to show in the in the every every part the, the, the framework we in Italy we need uh, for my personal opinion three four months and obviously the implementation needs uh, two three years to show in every part uh, of a country the, 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 the importance and the, 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 the role for the reform of Europe uh, I believe this is a question who posed by, by President of France, but also Spain, uh, Austria, and maybe also Sweden. My personal point of view is that reduce the stupidity is the first step. What is the redu reduction of stupidity for my country? Eh? I spoke about my country, speaking about my country. If I have uh, the specific recommendation by European Commission, And in April, you know, every, every April commission uh, give the specific recommendation to every country. I receive 
eight specific recommendations. Fight against evasion, fiscal evasion. Okay. Pay the debts of public administration. Okay. My personal first battle is use the specific recommendation and give an answer clear and quickly. But if I receive 10 years of debt of public administration uh, uh, for the companies, I have the money. But if I spend this money, I have a new infraction for deficit. This is impossible. Because if I follow the specific recommendation, I have an infraction in deficit. One different example. And I hope this could be solved. I ask, OK, but if I pay every day, every euro of public administration, is possible to don't count in this moment in the deficit because I go to re re accept a recommendation of European Com Com Commission? This is correct. Eh? This is right. If I must fight against evasion, if I must uh, fight against evasion, can I have the reverse charge as possibility to control, not with the control in front of shops, but in the, with the control of information communication technology, ICT, the, the, the system of payment. And this is obviously a, a message very strong against evasion in Italy. We think evasion in Italy is more or less 91 billion. This means 5.2 uh, uh, of GDP. Incredible. Can I use uh, 1 billion, 1 billion point two to reduce the evasion with the reverse charge? We open a discussion because reverse charge is a problem because the um, system, fiscal system of Europe. Uh, so I propose uh, to use uh, the flexibility of mind, not the flexibility of rules. I respect every rule. But if I must change my system of my fiscal system, and I'm not in condition to, to, to uh, accept the specific recommendation if I'm not able to change reverse charge. So I think uh, European Commission could accept the reverse charge in Italy. This is my purpose. Reduce the number of prescription of bureaucracy. And uh, I have a lot of things. If in uh, Terni, um, this regard a uh, um, German company and uh, a Finnish company, uh, three years ago, not this commission, blocked a process of merger and acquisition by a company interni by from Thyssen Group who decided to, 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 to refuse the, 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 the business interni, normal, to a very important uh, Finnish uh, company. So a conclusion of agreement. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe you, you're there. Yes, uh, yes, Autogroups, yes, but uh, I don't remember who is the, 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 who was the president of Confidential. So three years ago, more or less. Yeah, I was, I was the president. Uh, okay. So conclusion, good. <laughs> For us, good, because the projects are, are clear and operation win-win. The decision of European Commission was, ah, no, this is a problem uh, blocked for the, the antitrust. I don't know if this is correct. Now the company is out. 570 people are at home. So what is the... the, the, the the correct vision of relation between the ideals of Europe and the rules. Ah, oh, but we have the antitrust. OK, I have 500 of people who stay at home. You can imagine Europe is a good idea for these people. Who is the man who, 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 who bring the votes on the credibility, on the confidence of that people? This is the point for me. Use the intelligence. Because if we give the only possibility to a to, uh, te technical approach, we are absolutely out of control. This is the role of politics. 
obviously depend because everybody we have a, a different position. For example, I decide to respect three percent also if I'm not convinced about three percent. But I believe if Italy in this moment decide to surpass three percent, is not correct. But let me be very clear: the relation between that and growth. Uh, I give the answer to, to, to President of Austria. It's not easy in a moment in which Italy comes from three years of recession. 2012, 2.3 negative GDP. 2013, 1.9 negative GDP. Now, 0 0.3 negative GDP. This is a recession. Technically, for the first time in history, because without Euro, Italy is out of recession. Now is in recession. But I think the presence in European institution is very important for my country. So I respect the role. I try to, 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 to respect the role. But if I am in recession, it's impossible to change the role of that in this moment, because I have a sur primary surplus in the last 20 years, 19, year, 19 years on 20, Italy have a positive primary surplus. Nobody knows that. In the last 20 years, 19 years, positive primary surplus. But if I have in the last three years a gro negative growth, for me, Without a positive growth, the, debt, the relation between growth, uh, between debt and GDP will be clearly negative. It's normal. It's a, a mathematical approach. So if I am in a, different, in a moment of crisis, I spoke with uh, uh, President Juncker in the last days, and uh, I ask not in the, we are not, uh, um, we, we don't ask uh, a different position for Italy, for the role, for the debt of Italy, and we will continue to make that. No, we have a, a primary surplus also this year. We respect 3% also this year. But we think it's normal a very important country in a very important uh, continent are us in uh, 0 0.3 negative, but all the countries are 0 0.2 positive. This is stagnation. This is the lack of growth. It's normal. It's a problem of Italy or it's a problem of Europe. Ah, but you must make the reform of job, job, uh, Jobs Act and the labor market. I know. I make. But you, a European businessman, are you sure the problem today is the export? I think not. If I verify the result in 12 fields of the export, in eight fields, Germany is the number one. In three, Italy is the number one, because Italy is the second country in this uh, sector. We are one of the most incredible experience of quality of investment for the future, but, but without a strategy of growth in domestic market, internal market. We are condemned to, to, to growth, zero growth. So for this reason, and I, I go to very quickly in the conclusion, I believe the fourth strategy to reduce uh, the, the, the gap between citizens and institutional Europe is reduce the risks of wrong messages. For example, I make my, my country example, if I'm not able to pay the debt because I have the problem of deficit, and if I pay the debt, this is a, a loop uh, terrible for the credibility, on the, for example, for Ast Interni, Thyssen Group, uh, and um, dec decision by antitrust. For the president of uh, Polonia, of Polsky, Poland, uh, uh, I believe uh, mm, very important the women role uh, around the Italian society in this moment. We invest uh, in a team uh, half men and half women in the politics. Unfortunately, now I choose a man, uh, unfortunately, sorry for Paolo, but uh, I, I choose a man for the new Minister of Foreign Affairs after the decision to, to, to choose uh, uh, Federica as a minister, uh, uh, I representative. I proposed Paolo to go to Casablanca. He refused, uh, uh, I don't know the reason. 
uh, but uh, we are able to invest in a different uh, relation between men and women uh, able in politics and in the new electoral law we have uh, the presence of a gender um, law nobody could uh, uh, candidate more than uh, less than 40 percent of uh, men uh, or women for my party this average not for law but for the political political decision will be 50 percent so my in my staff in the party i decided to have a 50 percent a 50 percent i ref, i received a lot of uh, criticism for the ah this is not correct and so i decide and uh, i have uh, now one woman more than men so i changed the, the parity uh, this is very important for the uh, business this is important my personal opinion it's important also in newspaper because i receive a lot of criticism by newspaper and i i read the first page of newspaper I don't read a lot of articles of women, eh, of journalists, women, but this is not a um, reason of polemics. Also, because also in this room, uh, if you look uh, yourself, uh, I'm not sure this is a great, uh, a great uh, benchmark. But, 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 no, Emma. Okay, one. Ah, okay. Also in Germany, I know. <laughs> I'm friend of Angela, so please. <laughs> Uh, this, uh, you risk a diplomatic crisis. And uh, <laughs> just to conclude about it, I think it's absolutely important the role of women in the society, in the businessmen, uh, in businesswoman, more correctly, in the in the business uh, sector. Um, I explain my position about the, 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 the um, reforms. I agree with uh, President Kerber about the necessity to give a moral um, uh, push in uh, this direction. I don't know if the correct uh, strategy is uh, a meeting, a little summit on the article of few hands. Uh, uh, I don't know what is the uh, strategy. Also because, uh, and this is the point open, uh, the opening uh, 28 of uh, countries change deeply the modality of um, consensus also in the in this uh, in uh, in our discussions and um, the moral uh, suasion in the direction of uh, a passion who, who um, give uh, um, credibility to uh, process of European for me it's uh, European uh, integration for me is absolutely important we achieve this goal in the elections because in Italy the situation was very different from today six months ago everybody explained in the newspaper okay the next winner will be Grillo not your colleague in uh, uh, entrepreneur uh, of association in Germany your president um, is not here you you, you refuse no, the president no. you refuse passport to, to Grillo is not Beppe eh? <laughs> Georgia is not Beppe. Uh, uh, and he's a good grill. Eh? He's a good grill. <laughs> I please, journalists, uh, don't use this expression of uh, President Squint about the good grill because there are also bad grill. This is the problem. <laughs> Every grill is good. Okay. Right. Every grill is good. Every grillo is good, and uh, I think we must uh, try. We must try um, a different, a different uh, approach. But I'm not sure if this could be a position of uh, uh, Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, because this uh, risks, paradoxically, to have a lot of contrapositions. And so, we must give the message uh, of uh, change. Clear. Let me be very frank with you and your other country. I, I spoke about it with Angela a, few, a lot of times. We must change language everywhere. For example, I won the election explain the position against Angela Merkel of a party, some party of my country are unacceptable. You, you know, Giorgio, you know, Emma, the, 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 the poster in which uh, the problem of Italy is Angela Merkel. No, 
The problem of Italy is the lack of reforms is not the position of a German chancellor. The problem is in our side. And I fight against this position because I explain for a lot of things Germany is my model, is not my enemy. For some things uh, Germany is my competitor. In the industrial uh, sector, we have a lot of companies, a uh, uh, bubble in Northeast, in which uh, the, 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 the Germany are our competitor. In other fields, our colleagues, uh, our uh, clients, uh, our customers. This is normal uh, approach. <laughs> For the same reason, reasons, when the governor of Germany bank, I know this is independent, but this is a very bad message, said Italy and France are the children with the problems. This is expression. This is not, for me, is not a problem, maybe for the children with the problem, the, the, the relation with me. But this is not uh, elegant also for the families. It's an expression very, very bad as message. Very uh, full of arrogance and lack of humanity. I think when the governor of a um, German bank said that, I think it's important to give a very clear message. This is not the modality in which we stay in the community. It's very clear, and I respect my people, and I'm proud of my people. And I don't accept a governor of different country explain about my country as a country with the children with the problems. This must be very clear. And uh, respect means respect for everybody. And uh, I conclude uh, with uh, uh, the, 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 the um, single uh, question with the President of Sweden. I absolutely agree with you. More freedom uh, is the only way. But more freedom don't means, in my personal opinion, the lack of politics strategy. Political strategy must be more freedom. Uh, obviously, we can discuss uh, what is more freedom in this moment. And uh, for me, reduce the power of bureaucracy for the Italian entrepreneurs is the first um, way to give freedom. Reduce the taxation in Italy too higher is absolutely a f way to, to, to uh, give more freedom. But also maybe to involve in a discussion in which more freedom means more freedom also of the red tape of bureaucracy between states. When the people told me, ah, the difference between 0, 0 0.1 in the parameters, this is not more freedom. I respect the budget, I respect the role, I respect the uh, law because I think austerity uh, respect of that, uh, respect of budget is important, but I believe uh, absolutely important to give this uh, message. And uh, to conclude, uh, I, I think uh, we, we must um, absolutely uh, give a message to reduce the debt uh, and to give uh, new energy in the fight against uh, unemployment. Uh, this is really a problem uh, unbelievable. Seven years ago, Average of uh, unemployment in Italy is 7%. Now is 12.8, uh, 12.7, depends. We lost 1 million of uh, people, of jobs. 1 million of jobs in six years. In the last six months, because we lost uh, 1 million of people from April 2008 to April 2014. Six years, less than uh, 1 million, uh, more or less than uh, 1 million. In, from April 2014 to October 2014, we come back to little peace because we, uh, we have uh, 153,000 jobs more. So it's a little symbol of change, but this is not sufficient. And I believe in this moment, without a negative growth, it's impossible to continue to reduce the debt with the surplus with the primary surplus, but with the negative growth, it's impossible, reduction of debt. And I have just one last con uh, consideration. Italian debt is a problem, obviously, 2 trillion euro, 
but we are the only one also in this consensus in which uh, the private riches is four times the private and public riches as four times the public debt eight trillions so this is not sufficient for us we must reduce the debt we must come back to 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 to, to parameters also if in this moment anybody respect the parameters uh, except the three four countries in this moment uh, in the 28 countries i think only four respect 60 percent of parameters of maastricht we must we are the we must absolutely come back, we must absolutely reduce, but without negative growth, this is impossible. So we must change, invest in the new direction, invest in the growth, and, do, and then reduce the debt. I believe believable 100% as the goal for the next uh, years, but without a strategy, this uh, will be impossible. And for this reason, I'm confident about the role of the Juncker Commission. I hope, and thank you so much for uh, your president, I hope uh, uh, you come back to Italy f during the Expo 2015 because uh, we have a lot of problems in Italy. The first is that, the first, no, the first. One of the problem is that uh, uh, we have a budget uh, of uh, export import negative for energy. This is normal. Uh, we have also if we invest in a different strategy with Africa, so uh, I, I spoke a lot, so uh, I, but the real drama for us uh, is the budget between import and export are negative also in the food. We, expo we, we make export for 31 billion euro and we import 35 billion euro. This uh, in Italy, uh, it's absolutely unacceptable. So during uh, Expo 2015, uh, uh, also the discussion about uh, sustainability uh, and the uh, planet and uh, climate and everything, but also about business, uh, because they absolutely come back to, to a different strategy also in this uh, sector. And uh, I will wait for you in Milan next year. Thank you so much for your presence here.